When Thomas Pesquet blasts off to the night, he will be the first French person to go to space in eight years. In space, a childhood dream come true former airline pilot. The launch is obviously an incredible moment. It's an unforgettable experience for people who like that kind of thing. I've always liked extreme sports. I've been a pilot, I like speed, I like adrenaline. So obviously it's the ultimate adrenaline rush. So I'm sure I'll have a big smile during the whole rise into orbit. Pesquet is no stranger to thrills, from judo to diving to parachuting. To prepare for space, the Western France native had three years of intensive training, including at the Houston Space Center in the U.S., to condition his body. Throughout the six months he'll spend in space, Pesquet and his colleagues will take advantage of the zero-gravity environment to carry out no fewer than 300 scientific experiments. In medicine, with medicine, the spatial environment reproduces the same effects as certain aspects of aging. Arteries become a bit more rigid, so we can explore that directly. We have sonogram technology and fortunately for us, it's reversible, but it allows the laboratory on Earth to simulate aging and test things on us. Something else Pesquet will be able to test, the effects of music on his fellow crew members. He said he'd like to practice his saxophone on the ISS, once the instrument makes it to space on a cargo shipment. That is, as long as the rest of the team doesn't mind.